Thank you, Mr. Stever. Uh, continuing on with how we fill out the state inspection documents here in Pennsylvania. Uh, this is the second sheet. It is the easier sheet to complete. Uh, that's why we're going with it. Right now, we're going to focus on rotor thickness. That's this yellow area, this highlighted yellow area. Um, and we're going to measure the rotor. Uh, this is just a basic standard measurement with a digital caliper. Which is what we use here uh, has three buttons on it: um, zero, on, off, millimeters and inches. Uh, you would press the on button if you didn't see any numbers on there. Uh, when you finally get the numbers, make sure the two tips are touching each other. Then you want to press the zero button. Make sure all those uh, digits are zeros. And now you are ready to measure the rotor and document your findings, okay? So you want to take it. One of the most important things is to make sure this beam right here is clean. Uh, it's free of any grease, oil, or debris. If it's not, the, the wheels that actually measure this inside the digital caliper part will not give an accurate reading. So. That's the one thing. The second thing is we always want to operate this by this area or the thumb wheel here. You could just roll the thumb wheel in and out and it should read correctly, okay? Every time you touch this, you're going to have to zero it. It is measures in ten thousandths of an inch. So you definitely want to zero it every time you move any part of this away from the tip. Okay? All right, now, you would normally have your rotor on your vehicle. I can show you that in a second. But let me show you right now. Here we have this rotor. It's off the vehicle. This is how it's going to be during many of your state inspection tactile exams. You would take the rotor caliper, wind it over with your thumb. Touch both sides. You can come closer. Like you want to touch both sides, okay? And give it a measure. You can look at the measurement there. I suggest you measure in several different places, okay? For a general rule of thumb, you want to get at least three measurements for it. And then you would check it against specification, okay? For our measurement here, we have 1.017, so that is one inch and 17,000, okay? What we want to do here is check the minimum diameter. It will either be stamped on the front of the rotor or on the edge of the rotor, okay? So that's, you can't find it there. You probably want to look up service information. There's many sites online, all of that and whatnot that will give you that information for your minimum spec. You want to compare this number right here next to your minimum spec to see if the rotor actually passes. If this number is larger than this number, you, the rotor does pass if it has no scoring or other defects, okay? So right now, we want to document this in this area. We're going to write down one point zero one seven inches right there in the rotor thickness category and we would say it passes okay we can come over here and measure this rotor on the vehicle real quick if you would like on this the backing plate isn't close to the rotor we can actually fit this point between the backing plate and the rotor itself. Okay, remember to zero. I'm going to spread this open. And then we are going to check it. Okay, now this you will want to check on the vehicle because you want to, uh, there's usually going to be a rust lip and you want to avoid trying to pull it over that rust lip. So you would definitely check the number on the, v, uh, the 
while it's on the vehicle, okay? Because once you hit that rust lip, it's going to have to become bigger to pop over the rust lip, okay? So just be careful of that. Again, double check the condition of the rotor. A lot of these rotors have a lot of rust on the back side of them. Make sure to visually inspect that uh, before you measure it. Also visually inspect it for any defects, cracks, or scores. Okay? Thank you very much.